We do, actually. I don't want to unplug him. No, don't do that. Oh. We know what goes in the toilet, Alex. This is not a good idea. Did that help? Yep, I can feel a movement in my U-band. Oh. You better stand back. This could be messy. It's a Cheeto book page. No use to me, though. I only like the quilted stuff. I guess you can have it. Sure, it'll take it out of the toilet. All right, so at least we got the Cheeto page out of the matter. Uh, but that's going to go ahead and do it for us this week. When we get back, we will continue our exploration of Grunty Industries. Hello! Welcome back, everybody, to more banjo Tui. I, of course, I am Shuttle Blazer 3000, as you already know that. And I don't know why I'm doing William Shatner all of a sudden. I don't know either, but it's absolutely worth it. What? There's something on the wing. <laughs> There's someone on the wing of the play. Some thing. Some thing. Yeah, where are you going, punk? Go ahead and go where... So we were currently working on Grunty Industries, yeah. but... I'm gonna go to Hellfire Peaks, because I've been uh, watching, studying a little bit of Hellfire Peaks. Grunty Industries, I'm gonna need to do a little more study on. Okay, so we're gonna do Hellfire Peaks instead? Yeah. And already we are in the fires of Mordor? <laughs> Two years! Finally! I made it to the warmth of the lava world with a belly full of water! And you're excited about that? Uh, he is a camel. I would think you'd be more excited about being able to keep that water in your belly instead of burning through it. <laughs> Okay, for a second there, I thought the game broke again. Oh, All right, so. Welcome back to Banjo-Tooie, everybody. Uh, and we actually have quite a bit to talk about because... Warning! Trespassers in the exceedingly hot water are likely to be cooked. That'll be all dismissed! Maggot! Um... This is going to be kind of a weird one because we're going to be covering a lot of news because for the next two weeks, Geek News will not be covering news. <laughs> uh, That's true. Not, not quite. One of those weeks we're hey, going to be covering... I don't recall you paying for a tour of my volcano. I'm going to burn your fairy hide. Ow. I did not mean to do that. That's a hot beach right there. Yeah, so it's not entirely true. We will be covering E3, obviously, but that's it. Um, we're also going to be doing our review of uh, TMNT Out of the Shadows, but there has been quite a bit of Geek News stories that we can actually cover, and, Did you get the... well, we have a unique perspective because we have Andrea here. So, and people ha keep on... Thing? What thing? Oh, no. You know, that thing with the thing and the stuff. <laughs> the, the thing. thing. The thing and the stuff. Some things and some things and some I things. never get tired of making fun of Andrea for doing the thing over there. The thing. We're meaning G over, over there. there. Um, and one of those is, uh, you just barely reported on this. Oh. Okay. Uh, one of those recent stories was actually the casting of John Boyega in Pacific Rim 2. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. At this point. Oh, is it rumor? It's not confirmed. No, it's confirmed. It's just Pacific Rim Two is like. That. Oh wow, he's the son. He's going to be playing the son of Idris Elba's character. Mm -hmm. I actually like the casting there. Um, I'm excited, but then again, I'm excited for Pacific Rim Two. So I, I don't, yeah. I don't know if I could get any more excited than that. Um, Andrea, do you have any thoughts on that at all, or? Please, not my precious water again. Did you make him lose his water? Not yet. We will. Someday. Make him break his water? <laughs> He's gonna have a baby, Alex. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, Andrea, do you have any thoughts on John Boyega in Pacific Rim 2? Well, since I didn't really see Pacific Rim 1, I... Didn't guess... you? No. Like, all the times I've watched it? 
Scanners no, indicate that. location of kids. Evacuation found. Exterior door opening to enable manual viewing. Detecting earthling crosswind. Be careful. Okay, maybe that's just because my brain went here. She thought, he's not talking about the bear kids, is he? No. Yikes, I calculated it's a long way down. Huh? What's going on? Keep ship steady. And down he goes. Activate jet pack. Yeah, activate the jet pack. That might be a good idea. Oh, never mind. I'm okay. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. I'm dead. Really? Yep. Another death in this game. This game is dark. Just like Gerard said. Why yeah. is this game so dark? Oh, well, technically that was Greg. Well, but it was the title yeah. of the video. Why is this game so dark? Oh, I uh, was... I'm excited for oh, Idrisel or for uh, for John Boyega, but again, I'm excited for Pacific Rim too. Uh, so the next story that we, we can probably cover while we're working on stuff is, and Alex found this, um, is the results now after seven months, uh, of the Steam Machines, and it's not good. No, it's not good at all. It's almost like what we predicted a while back so would happen. I'm trying which to is get up there to go fight the dragon. That the Steam Machines are dead in the freaking water. So sad. Maybe it's just because there are too many companies working on them. Yeah. So nobody knows, like, wh what's the really good one aside from, like, price. And, frankly, the alien the Alienware one was pretty expensive, if I recall. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so unfortunately the Steam Machines are not doing very well. I guess that means you're not going to get one, Alex. I was probably never going to get one anyway. Oh, come on. You knew you were going to get one because everybody told you to. Because we totally follow trends like that, right? <laughs> I thought everybody was People would me like that. us to, but we don't. We really don't follow trends like that. But wait! Drek is like an early adopter of the consoles. Do I need to point out how late I got the consoles to start doing reviews for them? Um, When did we get the Wii U, Andrea? We, we, it was like two years into its life cycle. <laughs> Wasn't it? You can use your feathers. Oh yeah, I can't. I don't know, it's been a while. It was at least two years. Um, because... I remember my brother got a Wii U before we did. Try that. There it is. And it was l at least a year, um, before we got PS4 or Xbox One. It was two years, uh, for Xbox One, because we got that last. No, the irony there, I think when the Wii U released, we were getting a PSP, I think, because we didn't have game... We, we had a lot of games we wanted for that. And uh, we finally just decided to do it. Chili Billy, hot and spicy dragon. That's a misleading title. Ah, at last, you must be the pizza delivery boy. No, just the local Jiggy Hunters. Lies, I bet you got my 12... You know, put can... spicy meat and special in that backpack. Right now, I'm kind of regretting our choice here. Then I'll eat you instead. Mainly because of last week, all the talk about porn that we had on Geek News. And it just so happened this guy is very phallic looking. And he's talking about us being the pizza delivery boy. Yeah, because he's expecting a pizza. Yes, but that's a porn trope too. I'll soon have you licked. Oh, no, 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 no. This does not help the porn stuff now. It really doesn't. Um, here's actually another story that I, I want to get into is um, we had another casting story happen, which we talked here and, here and there about. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember. Alex, were you excited about the Gambit movie that they were going to do? Uh, I guess kind of indifferent. So, I, I guess I have bad news then, because you, we've been following the news that the, the director dropped out, the writer dropped off pretty early on. Now there's actually talk that Channing Tatum has dropped off the project. Oh, that's too bad. Well, it gets better. Um, he dropped off the project, supposedly, for a DC Cinematic Universe role. <laughs> Enough! I've changed my mind. I'll get the pizza. But I'm sure my brother will still want his. Hmm. 
I reckon I'll go get a couple of big owl burgers. So you basically unleash this dragon upon the amusement park? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Way to go, Alex, for not feeling bad about doing that at all. <laughs> I released the dragon. It's like releasing the Kraken, but it's a dragon. That's one good thing about once you defeat the dragon. Yeah, he stops shooting stop fireballs shooting, at you. They stop shooting whatever at you. Fireballs or ice balls, depending on what side of the area you're on. And obviously, the, the another thing that we need to talk about here is is more ukulele talk because we haven't had enough of that recently. Because hey, we're playing a banjo game. So. Well, so we had the trailer, and we yeah. also unfortunately had a delay. Yeah. So at least the trailer is good. You know, it looks like they're in the right direction. It looks like it's going to be very much inspired by banjo kazooie esque gameplay. Um, but. Obviously, it's been delayed till quarter one, 2017. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm going to ask the Banjo fans here, like, what did you think of the trailer? And are you... Damn it. Are you happy or sad about the delay? Uh, well, a little sad about the delay, but it happens again. It's an indie game. I figured late 2016 was still shooting to be optimistic. So It's amazingly optimistic. You know, but if they have to delay it to make it good... You might want to turn your camera so you can see. I am turning my camera. But if they have to delay it to, well, make it good... Ah, that's not where Jam Jars is. Oh, I know where he is. Yeah, well, if they have to yeah, delay it to I, make I mean, it better, then so be it. Your, yeah, your main focus is that you want a good game. Yeah. And so if that means you have to wait a little bit longer, then you're okay with it. Yeah. So congratulations, Alex. You're like every other gamer out there, because uh, I, I love all of the the Call of Duty kids that just can't. Damn it! Well, cannot be expected. To be there. Can't be expected at all to wait more than a year for a new Call of Duty game. Yeah, annual franchises have just done shit for this game. Well, it's one of those reasons. One of the reasons I think that's why the annual franchises yeah. have sucked it up horribly. Mm -hmm. Uh, Assassin's Creed's a perfect example, which is why I'm, I'm glad Ubisoft is taking a break this year from Assassin's Creed. Um, do I agree with the rumor right now that that means we're probably going to get another per Prince of Persia game? No. No, I don't think that's the case. I think it's just Ubisoft's taking a break. But then again, Ubisoft had a lot of games, I think, on their roster that never came out uh, from their last e E3 conference. So, Because I know that the... MOBA-style-esque game didn't come out. Oh, is this a move? Yep. This one makes you safe and small! To fit through gaps in a wall! First hold left trigger, right trigger, then press right, stick down! Protected in liquids you will be! That'll be all! Dismissed! Uh, uh, but yeah, I, th I think Ubisoft has actually a lot of games that, that haven't come out yet. Because um, the one I that caught my eye in the Ubisoft conference I know hasn't come out yet. I think it was called For Honor. Mm -hmm. um, where you could actually have like different era armies fighting against each other. Oh, I thought you were going to get hit there. So, moving on, we actually had a big TV announcement happen and people actually oh. wanted our input on it even though technically one of us watches it <laughs> or will watch it you meant get over here you son of a bitch so if you guys have been following the current tv season um supergirl came out and it's from the exact so it's on abc but it's from the exact same writers as arrow the flash and legends of tomorrow and i'm sure alex knows what i'm talking about with those ones at least yeah well, now there's actually talk that since it's, I guess, ABC's not really wanting to put down the money again, they're actually talking about moving Supergirl, and I think it's confirmed at this point, moving it to the CW, so that it's with everything else. Which I think is actually a great idea, but they just basically made a new announcement that people want us to talk about, Yeah, and that is that Superman will be making an appearance in the Supergirl series. Oh, cool. Now, I want to clarify something really quick before we go any further. We have not received a confirmation that Henry Cavill is the Superman they're talking about. I'm just going to die. 
I, I just, I want to make that perfectly clear. Henry Cavill has not been confirmed and probably won't be confirmed for the Supergirl just series. Because as, as we've learned with down? these with these cinematic universes, um, it usually isn't the movie equivalent that they bring in. Because obviously we have a movie equivalent for The Flash and Ezra Miller. And in the TV equivalent, we have, um, I think his name is Grant Gustin, uh, right off the top of my head. Which is funny because everybody wants the TV Flash to be in the Flash movie because they love him. So I don't think it's going to be Henry Cavill. The other possibility that people have talked about is Dean Cain. Bringing in Dean Cain to reprise his role as Superman. You know, back from the Lois and Clark days to come in and do Superman in the Supergirl series. I don't know if that's likely either. Uh, wouldn't it make more Dean sense for it to be the Clark Kent from Smallville? I, ho I hope not. I never liked that guy as Clark. So, but that's me. We, here's the thing. We know the Super Superman is going to happen in the Supergirl series, but we don't know who. Nobody's been announced. So, I guess my question to you guys is, is like, is that a good idea to bring Superman into a Supergirl series? Will that take away from Supergirl, even though it's a cameo? It's a cameo, so I don't think it's going to hurt. It's, it's a nice way to keep the universe is connected. Well, I think they're they're doing a good job anyway because now with this whole CW announcement, they the first thing they did was announce a mega cro I'm not kidding, this is the wording. A mega crossover with Arrow, The Flash, Drop down. Legends of Tomorrow and Supergirl all in their in the next season. Okay, now try and figure out to get in the So we already know that's going to happen. I don't think continuity is really going to be affected by this. And really, I guess that's my only it. complaint is... That is! That's not the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for the one with the fish in it. I kind of don't want them to bring in any of the, the Supermans we mentioned. You can at least dump the water. I can't. It's too hot. I'm just going to go ahead and be quiet, because <laughs> apparently Andrea will not stop about buckets of water and all that. No, and, well, <laughs> Andrea, do I need to send you to the corner? <laughs> well, which, which did you get? There you go. Go in Yeah, there. but that... Well, watch, it's too hot. That's the point, because you gotta get the ice cube in the later level. Yeah, but then you can still. You See? Can still. That water's far too hot for our swimming pool. See, you gotta come back later for this one. I'm looking for the pool with the fish in it. Oh, that pool, okay. Alright, now that we've had that argument. <laughs> Uh, so again, my opinion. I don't. I don't really think they're going to go with any of the current established Superman. I think it's. It's. I think it's going to be somebody like around Dean Cain's age. But that's it. I. I think they're going to go with an older Superman, one that's a little bit more established than Henry Cavill. Or, well, technically you can't do Henry Cavill because Henry Cavill, spoiler alert, is dead. <laughs> He's dead again. Well, Not no. Again, the, but... Batman v Superman. Superman is dead. Oh. Well, you know, uh, after two movies. Well, I guess that depends on when the Supergirl is set. It's not set in, in that continuity. Right. That's why it's... I think the fish one is right by where Bumble's skull is. The only hint that we have as, as far as Supergirl continuity is, is that Superman is fairly well established as a hero, but he's not shown, which I actually think is a good move. Still not right. See? Right there in the corner. Yeah, there. Probably right across. There, in that place with the stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I have to do it, huh? So, yeah, I'm excited for it. Um, I'm, I think it's actually a good move for Supergirl to come over to the CW. Fuck. Just to have all of that continuity in one place. Because I still remember back in the Buffy days when, when Angel was still on uh, CW, or WB at the time, and uh, Buffy had moved on to UPN. And continuity became so difficult for that. Especially since UPN and, and WB were not willing to, to work together on the matter. Are you just going to kill yourself? Yeah, it's just an easy way to work back to where I'm to commit be. suicide. Here's the story, though, that a lot of people want Alex's feedback on. Is the approval by Steam of a fan-made Star Wars Battlefront 3. Sounds exciting, but all I can say is, uh, good luck. Uh, Try going up that way. We don't know too much on this, only that, that Steam has approved it. Yeah, great. Steam... Oh, there it is. 
Steam has approved it, but the question is, will Lucasfilm approve of it? Uh, so Valve has approved the Frontwire Studios to, uh, has approved the game, and it has been renamed to Star Wars Galaxy and Turmoil. So it's not going to be Battlefront 3. That was one of your concerns on it. I told you. Uh, Battlefront 2, you mean. It was originally developed at Free Radical Design around 2008, but the relationship between the developer and publisher LucasArts broke down. So this this technically was from the studio that was doing <laughs> Battlefront 3. I can't remember how to do the shack pack all of a sudden. So here's the answer to your other question. Galaxy and Turmoil will be released for free, but it remains to be seen whether Disney will have anything to say about Frontwire using the Star Wars name. So... so. Push this button and then go push down the joystick. No, down. Oh, there, there we go. go. And also the possibility that EA will not be happy about it being a new game in the Battlefront series without an official rubber stamp. Yeah, so I just that was one of the things we were concerned about is that Steam has approved it, but EA and Disney have not made their say in it. Yeah, and I really doubt they will because Disney's obviously very notorious for protecting their copyright. Yep. They're the whole reason the copyright system in the United States is broken to begin with. Well, and on top of that, EA doesn't care because their Battlefront sold a, sold a huge number of copies. And it, what makes me even sadder about that is that most of those were the $120 editions. Of course it was. And the company does have its own Battlefront sequel coming next year. So, that's happening. So, I'm excited. Um, if if this game turns out to be... Well, I, I mean, we don't have a trailer for it. I'm a little shocked it's coming out for free. I would think they would at least put some kind of a price tag on it, but maybe that's to help keep Disney and EA off their back? I don't know. Because then at that point you can say you're not making any kind of a profit off. Mm -hmm. So That might help a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but because we've obviously seen that Steam approved it, but EA and Disney do not have a rubber stamp on it, and therefore, I can't remember. How I, I can that. say this at the very least. If uh, and I'll probably reach out to Frontwire personally, but Frontwire, if you want to give us keys to this game, and and we'll give an honest assessment of the game, won't we, Alex? Of course. We'll give an honest assessment of the game, and uh, if it's good, we'll advertise it. But I would also reserve the right to say if it's crap, we're going to call it crap. Yes, we will day one Gary's incident you if you do a bad job. So I'm just going to point that out right here and now. I'd say check by the front area. There might be a switch you can open this. I love that we're, we're just bouncing through news stories so I don't have to worry about them later. Go to the ice side. Well, there's not much I could do on the ice side right now. Well, Wait, I guess... You can take on the dragon. Yeah, I guess I could do that. I seriously wa studied this before I came in today. I watched a, a walkthrough, and now I can't remember Jack. Exactly. Let's play Curse. It's always Let's Play I thought I thought we covered this already. <laughs> um... Let's see, next story that we need to get into... Oh, this one, people wanted to know my opinion on it, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tell Andrea and Alex to put on their earplugs because they're apparently going to be bored by me talking about this. Uh-oh. And that is the announcement of the Final Fantasy XII HD remaster. Yep, yeah, don't care. Fuck that noise. That'll go in there. I'm just going to let that sink in for a second. Am I excited for it? Fuck that. Wow. F-U-G, D-A-T, fuck that. I'm not a fan of 12. I don't like it. Um, granted, this is supposed to be the better version of 12, the one that Japan got that we didn't, which includes a Zodiac job system, but it's still based off of their MMO-based combat, at least at the time. And no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not excited. I will play it, but... If you're asking if I'm legitimately excited, no, I didn't really like 12 Story. Um, in fact, it's as far as I'm concerned, the black sheep of the series, because at least Seven has more of a story than 12 did. So, uh, with that said, I'm sorry I dropped a couple of f bombs on you people, but that's my that's my viewpoint. I hate 12. 
I hate it with an absolute passion. So, that being said, I've done that. Moving on. This one I actually wanted to get Andrew and, and Alex's reaction on. So, we're starting to get E3 announcements right now. Mm -hmm. And one of them is from Microsoft. So, apparently, the Xbox Ones will now have Cortana... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, synchronicity, so to speak. Like, they, you will be able to utilize... Cortana commands with your Xbox One. And I still don't care. I don't know why you're asking me.